I think you can recognize this as being a heart and a couple of lungs. I think you can also recognize the fact that along the uh, surface of the lung there are these purplish hemorrhagic areas like here, 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 and here. Uh, I think I'd have no trouble convincing you that's because of a collection of hemorrhage along the periphery of the lung. Here is another picture that shows a hemorrhagic area a little more closely and you could see that there are areas where the pleura looks normal but there are also areas where the pleura is hemorrhagic. And if you were cut to cut through that uh, pleural area, you can see that the hemorrhage extends into the parenchyma of the lung as well. Well, the reason why certain organs, when they become infarcted, are hemorrhagic might be because they have a dual blood supply, like the liver and the uh, lung. The reason why when some organs are infarcted, they would become anemic or lack of blood like the brain or the kidney, is because they have end-stage arteries. Well, here we are looking at the case microscopically now. I think you could possibly appreciate this as being relatively normal lung. At least you could see there's a lot of air filling the alveolar uh, spaces. But in this area, the alveoli, like you could still see a remnant of alveolar uh, walls here, are filled with blood and proteinaceous fluid. And in addition, uh, there are certain uh, fairly well-defined areas that are dominated by uh, neutrophils. Uh, in other words, an abscess. In addition, within the abscessed areas, I think you could see other areas which look extremely blue and extremely granular, like when we saw that cluster of bacteria on the pericardium. Uh, often appearances like this in this represent a gram-positive uh, bacteria, although we are not at enough of a resolution to really show uh, cocci. Uh, if we had an oil lens and we were at perhaps 100 power rather than only 20, like you see here, then we could be a little more sure of that. So this is a uh, pulmonary infarct. Uh, you could call it a septic infarct because you could see bacteria as well. And I think uh, an area like this clearly demonstrates an area where the alveoli are relatively normal, perhaps a little congested but filled with air, whereas in an area like this the uh, alveoli are infiltrated by uh, proteinaceous material and blood cells. And in an area like this, you have chiefly neutrophils uh, infiltrating alveoli, which is kind of like uh, pneumonia by definition. And in addition, you could see a fairly well-defined abscess as well. And uh, muchas gracias.